I'm Lou Bordiso. I'm 60 years old and I live on Mare Island. What I try to do in the midst of all of these photos is to look at the good, bad, and the ugly of Mare Island. Things that I highlighted that the beautiful parts of Mare Island and then those places that uh, really needed a lot of updating and promises uh, kept on the part of uh, some developers and city council and a little more emphasis out here you know, on the island. See, ah, this is one of my favorite photos because uh, it appeals to one of the things I'm most passionate about and that is is politics and the, by the diversity of signs here it shows you know the uh, various ways of people interpreting what needs to be done in Vallejo. The reason I took it is because I think that there's an opportunity here to house uh, folks who are homeless in, in Vallejo. We have the structure, the infrastructure, it needs obviously some updating, but it's not, uh, it's not being utilized and certainly could be. And then I come to my care provider. Uh, she is with me part-time and she's just a wonderful person who brings uh, a lot of life into my world uh, with a great personality and, uh, and I don't know what I would do without her. She brings me uh, various places, it provides transportation, does my laundry, um, sometimes does a little cooking, uh, but with my health condition uh, she is uh, an angel <laughs> that's there and I wanted to make sure I got her in this in this photo. And this is some of the landscaping in front of the forest uh, service, which is really, uh, it, it reminds me of a rock garden in uh, Kyoto, Japan. Uh, it, it has that feel to it. There's such strength and determination and tenacity uh, in, in the way this eagle is, is uh, depicted. And for me, that, that uh, really are words that I use to describe myself. So I, I, I'm definitely somebody who is tenacious and I move forward and uh, but I'm I think that the, this, this depiction of this eagle is, is um, symbolic of, of how I view myself. I, I don't know if others would necessarily agree with that but that's how I view myself. St. Peter's Chapel. This is uh, one of my favorite photos of, of all, if not the favorite photo. When I uh, do my exercise walks, there, uh, there's a little bench right over on the side where I'll sit. And it's an opportunity for me to kind of reflect and contemplate and get a sense of the values that really have meaning rather than, well, it helps me to be a human being rather than a human doer. So I'm able to kind of take a step back and, and reflect. And this is a symbol for that here on the island is there's a greater reality than always doing things. It was fun, but it, it, I felt it was a bit daunting and I was exhausted uh, by the end of the project uh, because both emotionally and uh, cognitively and, and physically from all the walking. So it, there, there, was the, there was a lot of energy that was put in and I, I'm hoping some, a sense of thoughtfulness and reflective of, of uh, what I, through, through my own lens as to you know, how I see things out here.